All right, y'all. Hey, welcome back to another episode of the Reese Show. I just came real fast to share this video. Now, by all means necessary, let's put this out there first and foremost. I am not no professional. I don't pretend to be. I'm not a licensed tech. I'm still learning myself, okay? So let me get started. Check it. Y'all, my babies. Now, y'all listen to uh, T.T. Reese because she going to tell y'all some things. Now, when you getting ready to do your nails, this is one number one key that you do. Now, we see, these are for the beginners. So I know you're not going to start off doing nobody else's nails because you can't do your own nails. You can't do your own nails. Ain't no need of you going to jack somebody else's nails up. But check it. What you're going to need to do, number one, is go wash them hands, okay? Wash them little fingers. Get all that dirt from off them fingernails because you don't want no infection in them nails, okay? And and, and you you start off after you wash your nails, you go in there. You I mean, you go to that bathroom. You get you some soap. I I prefer you use a bar of soap if you ask me. If you gotta go in, you scratch that bar of soap. You get all that dirt from up under them nails. That's what I'm saying. It's all I'm saying. Get the dirt from up under them nails. Don't be come trying to do no nails and then you wind up wondering why your fingers itching and you got bumps and green stuff. That's a little too much information. I'm gonna stick to the subject. Anyway, you get you after you clean your nails real good. You get you one of them uh, fingernail things here. Let me see. Well, I, this one don't have one. No, I'm dropping stuff. This one don't have one. But you get you one of them things with one of them things right there. Okay, you can use one of these. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut to the chase. You can use one of these here sticks right here, okay? If you don't have one of these here, okay? This here. This here one is really what you really should be having, you know. And you get this sucker. And like I said, if you don't have this here, <clears throat> excuse me, it's clear my throat. You get you one of these here. And you get your little behind, and then you go up under them nails, and you get all that stuff from up under them nails before you trying to do your nails, okay? You just clean your nails pretty, pretty good, okay? So once you do that, after you clean your nails, okay, you might make, sure, make sure your nails are very, very dry, okay? Because like I say, fungus, uh, you your nails be wet that's the easy way for you to get fungus okay so make sure your nails are dry okay and then you're going to push your cuticles back really 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 good with this here thing here okay you're going to push your cuticles back with this here okay now i'm not going to do a step by step i'm just going to show you what you need you need to i do all that in maybe in another video but you're going to need these here to do that then you're going to need you a little bitty and where chap did I do with that? Okay, I don't even know what I did with that. Thought I hit. Okay, I don't know. But anyway, check it out. We're gonna use one of these here just to get that uh that uh fan stuff off your neck. I'm child, I can't I'm lost for words now. I'm lost for words, but work with me here. You're gonna need uh one of these here, the thin uh files to get the shine. Get the shine off your nail. You think I'm drinking over here or something? I don't know. Anyway, you got to get that shine off these nails, okay? Once you push that cuticle back. And then look, if okay, and then because you're going to want to get that dead skin. You need one of these here to get that dead skin off. And if you ain't got that, you I mean, you can't get that dead skin off. You probably want to invest in some of this here. It's all as I'm saying. You know, this here is some uh, cuticle softener remover. Now, if you can get all that dead skin off, then, you know, get all that dead skin off. But this here is cuticle remover. This is, um... This is nice to have, okay? So, and then once you take care of all of that and you get that shine off and you push those those cuticles back, okay? You push those cuticles back, you're going to need a dehydrator. Well, you can also use one of, use this here, y'all. Get you some, maybe some alcohol and sanitize those hands too. This is just straight up alcohol too. It's just, it's a NAS 99, you know, OPI, but it's alcohol. So, um, you know, sanitize your hands after you wash them real good. I forgot to mention that. You know, you say you use regular alcohol, however, whatever. Some folks use, you can use them hand sanitizer, whatever. Anyway, back to them nails. Okay, on your little fingers, you're going to use your dehydrator before you get started. Now, I hope you got you a pad and pencil down here and you writing this down. You jot this down. I'm telling you, Miss Reese, I'll be trying to teach you something, baby. Come on over here and sit down and learn something, sugar. Anyway, so check it out. After you do that, you get your dehydrator, you're going to need you a primer, okay? And this primer here came in a kit, okay? And the kit that I had was called a kiss kit. Now, um, okay, let, let, let me jump the gun a little bit more. Now, we're going to pause right here. Now, you follow me because it's not that hard to pay that much attention to what I'm saying. Now, when you start off, you're going to need you some... 
No, okay, we ain't gonna do all that. We just, I'm gonna keep it focused because you know some people out there, you confusing me now. You confusing me. So I'm gonna stay on the roll here. I'm gonna keep on explaining it to you. You need your primer, okay? Now, but we're gonna come back to that primer in a minute. So now, after you need your primer, you're gonna need you some nail tips, okay? So everything I'm mentioning, uh, no, we're going to go back to that. I'm not even going to confuse y'all. I'm just not going to confuse y'all. So you're going to need you some nail tips. And these here are clear tips. You can use whatever kind of tips you want, but you're going to need you some nail tips, okay? If you want to learn with nail tips, or you can learn with nail forms. However, whatever, some folks learn how to do nails with just regular paper forms. I guess we'll get into that another day if you don't know exactly what I'm talking about when it comes to forms, okay? Then you're gonna need one of these here clipper things here. If you don't have a clipper thing here, you can use you some scissors here, or if you don't have no scissors here, you can use you one of these here little clipper things here to clip off your, your tips, however, to make them long and make them short, however, whatever, okay? Once you do that, you're gonna need you a nice good sturdy brush okay now look i'm gonna tell you something this is something that nobody explained to me okay but i'm gonna explain it to y'all okay i'm telling you it's just for the, the people that's just not getting started it's not for you know you old goons out there that already know i i ain't talking about y'all i'm talking about the new folks the little lily bugs out here that just not getting started who just don't quite understand what to do now we be watching these videos and i'm gonna tell you something baby look don't jump in there trying to go doing no one ball method. You don't know what you're doing because, honey, you have acrylic everywhere all over your little fingers and you've been a messed up child, make a big old mess. You be mad. You be upset. Filing for days. So I advise you, if you get a brush, start off with a very small brush to lay that acrylic. And because you don't, you don't have to start off with no number eight or 10 or no 12, 14. And you're crazy if you do, you know, because you don't have it like that. You know, just learn how to work with these brushes at first. Then you gradually move up and up and up. But start off with something small. Now, I brought this here brush to the table for video purposes. This video, this this brush here is a number six, okay? It's nothing wrong with starting off with a number six. I'm going to tell you like this here. A number six on your nail. Look at that. This is my pinky finger, right? And this is a number six. Just imagine if I had some powder and stuff and I'm going here. See, that... I know y'all y'all probably got fingers big, bigger than mine or whatever. I don't know. But look, on here on my pinky finger, I'm putting it all right here. Okay, I'm putting it on there real, real good. So that this this brush right here would be perfect for that, this finger. I'm going to try and say finger because I know I be talking real fast. The country said come on me. I say finger, 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 whatever is all the same. Okay, baby. And you start off with something small, something that makes you more comfortable. You know what I'm saying? Don't be all trying to go with no big old brush, getting acrylic. Number one, you're going to waste too much of your product messing around with a big brush. And especially if you don't know what you're doing, child, you're going to be very upset. Your little acrylic liquid going to go really, really fast. And that powder going to go really, really fast because you up here trying to follow somebody else's lead, jumping out there using that big old brush. Now, sit yourself down and get your smaller brush until you graduate, okay? Now, this here is a number eight, okay? And um, number eight is pretty cool, you know, like I say, for like the thumbs. There's some folks out there that get uh, fatter little nail beds than masks, okay? But I'm just saying, I recommend you start off with a small brush and then gradually, um, you know, move on to a larger brush. And as the better you get, the higher your brush will get, okay? And another thing, too, when you're watching these videos, a lot of these videos are sped up. Because, child, I know I speed up a lot of my videos. And look, some a lot of folks don't tell you. Don't be trying to go on to that, go, on, go along with that speed that they're doing. Because a lot of folks doing nails, as such as myself, I don't lay acrylic that fast, baby. Just know that. So, just take your time, you know, and it's, it's trial and error. You'll get it. You will get it. If you're determined, baby, if you don't want to go spend no more money and nobody else a shop child, I feel you. I feel you. I totally feel you. So you just take your time by laying that acrylic. Watch the videos carefully and lay that acrylic, you know, really, really slow until you get it to where you know how to get it, you know. However, okay, after that, you're going to need you a regular file because you're going to want to file your size of your nails down okay so you're going to need your nice file this is cheap file using this for video purposes okay you're going to need you some glue you make sure you have you some glue to glue on your little nail tips in fact you want to use nail tips okay this is another thing all right if you don't want to use this here file i mean you're going to need this file of course but if this file is all you have and you don't own a drill you know here's the thing when you want to start doing nails isn't 
everything is not going to be like two, three dollars. You know, you're going to have to invest a little bit, just a little bit. To start off, though, you can get one of these here drills here. Now, this is not the best, the best, but you know, we all start off with something because you know, I started off with something, and this is what I started off with. I bought this drill right here, I believe, from Walgreens or something like that. You know, have you? And nah, then, nah, nah, nah. I don't know the price, child. I'm not gonna stir you wrong, but you know, you just you, you and spend your little ten dollars on your little drill that'll help you out, it'll help you out in the long run. I'm telling you. Then these are the little bits that it, that came with it, okay? You can start off with one of these here. And then once you, you're going to gradually graduate on to something bigger. And then I started off with, I mean, I moved on to this here. And this here when I believe, paid, I mean, I don't know how much, $11, $13, on YouTube, eBay. I say YouTube, chat, shut up. Off of eBay or Amazon and all that good stuff. That's how much these cost. They got a little uh, uh, thing right here that you plug up. And this here is a little bit more advanced than this here one here. And then this here, after you get this here one, you will eventually if this one don't do the job for you you might want to invest in another drill you know whatever so and that one there comes with the little bits as well like this here off of ebay uh amazon i can't really remember where i bought that from okay now okay now uh you're gonna need some liquid i'm not gonna show the name of this liquid here you know I'm, some of you ladies already know the name of that liquid but i'm not here to promote no one's uh, business or anything like that or even recommend any uh, uh, acrylic uh, however have you because you know it's like some things going on with some companies around here that's not really good so I just don't want to ever test nobody's products at the moment okay you know you start off advertising somebody's products then some <laughs> a year later somebody be like whoa you told me I should use that child I'm going to tell you like this just invest in a nice acrylic powder and invest in some nice monomer with no MMA in it, okay? Put it to you like that. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you can go back and check out my video I uploaded not too long ago about the MMA. And that should enlighten you and educate you a little bit about what MMA is and, you know, how you do not want to use anything with MMA in it, okay? All right. So now after you... You get you get you some liquid, you get you some powder, okay? Now, as a matter of fact, uh, y'all, it's some kits that you can start, nice kits that you can start off with. And uh, I'm going to insert a picture of the kit. I don't know where it's going to be. It's going to be there or there or there or here. Or what. It's going to be on this screen somewhere. Just put it to you like that. I ain't got all that advanced with it. It's going to be, ta-da, right here. I, 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 I ain't did it. I, I ain't that good yet. Okay, so now I think that pretty much sums up what I'm talking about here as far as what you need in your beginner's kit. Okay, well, I hope this video helped somebody out there, you know, helped you out as far as knowing what a starter kit is. Okay, so y'all, that's my time and we're going to come back with another video. And then again, I say I want to explain this one more time before we tune out. I am not a professional. So if you feel like you want to try and come for your girl, you come on. You come on over here. You come on over here to Reese's place. Child, cause she ready for you. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to get back with y'all real, real soon. In a minute.